Mumbai is the capital city of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Mumbai metropolitan region is the ninth most populous agglomeration in the world with a population of around 23 million. Mumbai is the financial, commercial and cultural capital of India and has the highest GDP of any city in Asia. It is also one of the world's top 10 centers of commerce in terms of global financial flow. But where is Maharashtra heading to? If Mumbai is continuously growing, even with lower speed, it needs to face the challenges related to land, transport, environment, housing and governance. The European Union is collaborating with Maharashtra State since 2013, supporting a long-term, sustainable vision for the development of the metropolis of Mumbai. In this framework, they are jointly working on implementing a new way of doing things, based on the idea of getting all the institutions of the metropolitan area involved in decision-making on issues under their responsibility. A good example of this collaboration was the first Metropolitan Laboratory on Maharashtra Sustainable Urbanization, developed in Mumbai by the Spanish company Acciona Engineer in cooperation with Mumbai First. Within the framework of the Mumbai partnership between the EU and Mumbai agencies, introducing a new methodology in accordance with UN Habitat. The main objective of this lab was to propose new strategic projects as urban development opportunities for Maharashtra, thus formulating an integrated territorial vision in order to enhance synergies for other key Indian cities and at national level. During the Metropolitan Lab, experts gave lectures on different metropolitan issues, sharing their knowledge and providing necessary input. Governance is a subject and a word uh, that you would have heard more than most other words in the English dictionary. Uh, these days, if there is anything wrong with uh, any institution, any organization, ultimately people start talking about governance. They gave inspirations and led to thinking out of the box. Our main thing about the informality in habitat is not going to be sorted out easily unless over a period of time uh, you find some solutions in the metropolitan scale. That's the main thing. And that's why I'm excited that somebody is doing looking at it at metropolitan level. Helping participants jointly work together on their project's proposals. Of course, today all cities are surviving on transportation linkages to the rest of the world. Say, whether it is a, a seaport or whether it is an airport or, or highway connectivity or railway hub or anything. Okay? So if we see the Maharashtra's urban urbanization. The reason that is suggesting that Naina, for example, can be scaled out to one third of what it is, probably even less than one third. And uh, one of the dangers that we identify in this scattered development with high density development is that the, the, the people are going to be so limited in this region in the future, there are going to be only 30 million people by 2036. In addition, several sectorial presentations focusing on Mumbai metropolitan region. Public transport, especially the train, is a major means of mass transport in Mumbai region. Future development in the region should therefore foster transit-orientated development projects. Land use transport integration, which is the central point of, of, of TOD, is actually need to be achieved by compact urban form, uh, distributions of centers of activities and connecting them, a complete transport network and high density, mixed uses, public transport, multimodal integration, accessibility by complete streets, ability to walk and of course parking management. Environmental issues will be widely accepted and understood by the greater population if they are directly linked to people's life and the economy. One rule which we all are familiar with is save mangrove. Mangroves should not be destructive. And we, many of us who understand mangroves, many of us who understand environment, we do say that mangrove is a good ecosystem which we should not destroy. Long-term successful planning policies will improve housing systems with strategical provision of services, transport, public spaces, education and health. It highlighted mismatch between demand and supply of affordable housing. 
and it also guided how the policy should be framed. The current economic development in the region is limited due to a large percentage of informal industry versus a small percentage of formal industry and employment need. Yes, I want industries in MMR. Let me have that basic economic base uh, of, the, of, uh, of manufacturing in, in MMR and why not? Let somebody else compete with me. If I am better, I will get the industry. Why not? With the leading presence of Mr. Pedro Ortiz, Indian planning, finance and governance experts, as well as researchers and other metropolitan key players, attended a five days workshop, which was concluded by a public presentation of their works on the sixth day. The participants were from different local, regional and metropolitan authorities and the private sector. An unusual constellation for India, but essential for better understanding of how different their approaches are. The workshop methodology is a new way to inspire them to think out of their own box and learn to work with each other. Five challenging projects were developed ranging from land use, transport, productive activities, environment and housing. Every project had to be consistent along the four main components, including governance, economic aspects, infrastructure and planning to facilitate a consistent urban strategy. Findings related to serviced land, such as square meters, placement, uses, density, management, finance and realistic needs were integrated. The housing team analyzed the overall current scenario in MMR and estimated demand for housing according to the income distribution pattern for MMR. The productive activities team defined the major vocation of each economic hub considering the connectivity links and existing activities. They focused on a new central business district across the Bay of Mumbai between the new airport, the port and the crossing bridge to central Mumbai. The transport team generated access to new land use, extending the road network in a rectangular pattern parallel to the main existing North South Gross lines of Mumbai to the east and using the rail track assets to areas where urban centralities or TODs can be set to serve dense new housing development. The land use team had the main role of merging findings of previous groups in a consistent way to let Mumbai perform the future international role of South Asia's economic capital. Finally, the environmental team focused on creating community in green systems at regional level by connecting the environmental assets of the surrounding areas. Rivers, as the skeleton of the entire green framework, had a paramount role in the project due to the necessity of regenerating water and conserving the ecosystem. The Metropolitan Lab can be considered as a new instrument to understand the existing metropolis while proposing strategic projects and governance guidelines and supporting a collaborative approach to obtaining financial resources from metropolitan authorities and the private sector. This workshop has surely paved the road to strengthen the ties between the European Union and India on sustainable urbanization. We believe the experience will become a reference for future metropolitan management in India and smart cities development all around the world.